girl, Rini. No! Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm just simply going to take you along with me to do a baby shower setup. Um, you have seen like this style before. It is my most requested style. So it's just going to be one of those videos where you just come along with me. If you want to see how I made this setup, then stay tuned. All right, so as usual, I inflate the balloons beforehand and I go ahead and I create the base. I already know what shape I'm going for. I have some extra clusters as well that I like to have. Honestly, I inflate as many balloons that I believe will fit in my car. That's how I do it. <laughs> so I have a long piece and I have a shorter piece to go on either side of my backdrop. For this, um, this setup, I'm also doing a vinyl, um, some vinyl writing welcoming baby Braxton so I'm cutting that out with my Cricut mesh machine <laughs> oh my gosh why was that so hard to say so as you can see here I'm just simply taking off the excess pieces of vinyl you want to go slow at this part especially when you have like super thin intricate pieces you don't want to rip anything it's very easy to get excited and just rip your vinyl you have to start all over again and you waste vinyl and you don't want to do that so I'm just going ahead and just weeding this out, prepping it. So of course, we're going to go ahead and load the vehicle. I'm loading in my backdrop, I'm loading in the inflated balloons, and everything that I need to create this piece. Right here, you're gonna see me do like a quick check to make sure that I have everything that I need for this setup. <laughs> I feel like I got everything, we're checked, ready to go. Quick stop at Walmart because I do not have any transfer paper. So I had to pick that up real quick. I was coming off of an overnight 12 hour shift. So I had to pick me up an iced coffee. I was gonna stop at Tim Hortons, but the McDonald's was in the Walmart. So I said, why not girl? Next time I'll stick with the Timmy's. On our way, let's go on this rainy Sunday morning. Okay, so I arrived to the venue, little backstory, okay? I arrived to a venue. I had no idea that this was supposed to be an outdoor setup, okay? When I was booking this, I was not told it was going to be outdoor. I was under the impression that it was going to be indoor. So when I got there, y'all saw the rain. <laughs> you guys saw the rain when I was on my way. So when I got there, they asked me like, oh, are you aware this is an outdoor setup? I said, uh, nope. So they were really nice. They were really cool. Nice family. They asked if I would stick around and wait to see if the rain would hold up. That way we can get the setup outside. I said, sure, I'll wait the extra minutes. I can do that for y'all. Child, it did not stop raining. At one point, like they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because of course they really wanted this event to be outside. But honey, it did not stop raining and it was drizzling, like it would drizzle and then it would rain hard and it would drizzle and it would rain hard. And I'm thinking to myself, these people better not decide to go outside because I'm not trying to be outside in the rain putting up a setup. Like there's no way, like I'm going to be drenched. There's no way. Thankfully for me, <laughs> They decided that they were going to do the event indoors. I know that they were disappointed, but it was better for me. So I wasn't complaining. I mean, honestly, I would have loved to do the setup outside. They had a very nice backyard and the setup really and truly would have been really, really beautiful if it was outside because I ended up having to do it right here in this tight space. Um, it still worked out. It still looked good, but like it really, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it really would have looked good outside. My only issue is that it wasn't stop, like the rain wasn't stopping and I wasn't going to go out there in the rain to put up this setup. Like it just wasn't happening. So Unfortunately, we had to do it indoor. So what you are seeing here is me using my foam backdrop. That is, you saw that it was split in two and I attach it to a poster stand. I'll have that 
I got that from Amazon. I'll have that listed in the description box as usual. I'm using a backdrop cover, of course, to cover it up, give it a nice clean finish. You can see here that I'm using two backdrop covers. I do that because uh, some, depending on where you get your backdrop covers are from or whatever the quality, they are see-through. So especially when you have it against a window like this where the light is, can shine right through if you're using like the frames, I like to combat this by using two, um, two backdrops. So now in order to attach the balloons to the backdrop, I use spring clamps and a 260Q. I go ahead and attach that to the backdrop and then I use the 260Q and I wrap them around two balloons. I'll be honest, this video is not gonna be super, super detailed. This was just like a take you along with me type of video more so. I didn't go into like details. I didn't go into like a lot of instruction and like demonstration, you know, all that stuff. But I do have other videos where I do go into this a little bit more in depth. So go ahead and check those out. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the vinyl decal to the backdrop before I continue with the balloons. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do I stick vinyl to fabric? The best answer I can give you is to use high quality vinyl. I stick with Cricut. I have tried other vinyls and they have failed me. Cricut is the best. Take your time, go, Cricut? Yeah, Cricut. Take your time, go slow. Try not to reposition the vinyl because Obviously the fuzz, you're gonna lose stick. And go slow. Take your time. It's also easier for me to use the board rather than using the frames. Guys, right here you can see I'm tired. Like I said, I'm coming off of a 12 hour overnight shift and right here I am feeling it. I'm feeling it right here. <laughs> but yes, back to the vinyl. Um, high quality vinyl I think is the best answer I can give you and it's also easier when I use a board it is trickier I have done it using the frames it's harder because you don't have anything to push against when you're using the frame it's just the fabric is it is a very common question and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video not maybe not like a full video maybe like um like a short or something Okay, so as you can see, I am filling in the garland now. I'm adding those extra clusters and I'm giving it a nice little shape. For this um, setup, I actually didn't have to like blow up any extra. I did blow up some five inch balloons, but I didn't have to blow up any extra like 12 or 18 inches, which was pretty nice. I had like the perfect, I inflated like the perfect amount of balloons for this setup. Um, I have the shape going. I'm putting in the five inch fillers. I don't like to overpopulate my garlands with five inches. Um, but I do think they are necessary. I just don't like a ton of them. Some people like the look, some people don't. It is what it is. It is what you prefer, I should say. So when creating your setup, you want to always step back, take a look at what you're doing, where your, where your design is going, and then go ahead and correct those little spots that are giving you the ick. <laughs> you might have fine little pockets that you want to add balloons. Like that bottom cluster over there was driving me nuts. It looked so weird to me, and I just couldn't figure out why I couldn't get it to look nice. <laughs> but um, I played with it a little bit, and I just had to leave it. Otherwise, I would have probably been fighting with it all afternoon and I wasn't having it. So I I did what I could to make it look like more more pleasing to the eye. It just had a little funny look. But I think I it, it came out like I'm never going to leave it in a way that I'm not satisfied with. Tired right here, guys. Tired. Okay, so I'm going ahead and adding the florals. The last step or not the last step, but almost the last step. At this point, time is running out. All the girls who are organizing the baby shower, they're running around going crazy. And now they're coming into my working space and going crazy and it just became hectic. I'm tired. These people are in my way. 
so honestly all those girls and the family they were really really nice i have nothing against them they they were really really nice to me they gave me coffee they offered me donuts and muffins like they were really really nice to me i have no issues <laughs> i was just really really tired you guys you see the back you see my back it was hot it was hot like i felt like i was gonna pass out then I nearly knock over the people, them things. Like, oh my goodness, stressed out at this point. I'm tired, I'm hot. Everybody's just crowding the space at this point. I said, let me just move this over to the side because I'm not trying to break these people's things. Finish this off and head home. When I got home, I knocked out because I had to go back to work that night. I hope I didn't make it seem like this was like a bad setup experience because it wasn't a bad setup experience i was just simply really really tired and um it, the place was hot man the place was hot but i did enjoy it i enjoyed the colors i love the color of the backdrop i chose that color because i felt like the white would have just been off-putting so i went with that nice little beige to match the balloons and it turned out quite lovely i do wish it was outside still but you can't really help when nature does its thing nature is gonna do its thing right so here it is, the final look. Let me know how you feel about it. Is it cute? Is it not cute? Like, what do you think? Here it is without the florals, and here it is with the florals. Which one do you prefer? Do you like florals, or are you are you good with the florals? Like, you prefer not to have them? Let me know. And you guys, thank you so much for watching another video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.